So after we warm up, we run offensive circuits on Tuesday defensive circuits. The offensive circuits include base blocks, pull and wall off, bird dog, two man sled, and rocket reach. It's a little video of how we run these. So this is our pull and wall off drill. Think about the wing T, it's, it's kick out, pull and wall off, and turn up. Now, like I said before, everybody on the team runs these blocking, all quarterbacks. So this is a combination of linemen, running backs, quarterbacks. We make sure the head is on the right spot on kicking out. When we get to the second level, we block with our hands, not our shoulders. <clears throat> we make sure they take good first step. This is uh, actually a quarterback and a running back. So get the quarterbacks involved. This is our rocket reach. We either popcorn to the sideline or try to turn our butt in the hole. So he rocket reaches. He can't get to the outside shoulder, so he turns him to the sideline. He gets to the outside shoulder, then he turns his butt into the hole. Again, you watch their first step, good first step. He's having trouble getting to his outside shoulder, so he just drives him to the sideline. Take him in the direction he wants to go then. Now, this is a good drill because we ran a reverse, and the quarterback actually ended up having the key block, the lead block where he popcorn the defender to the sideline. And it was a, a big game for us. So you never know when it's, you're going to need it, no matter what position you play. We do two-man sled. And one of the reasons is, is because if you have a seven-man sled, you can't really tell who's slacking for the most part. With a two-man sled, you can tell. They both have to work together, and they both have to work hard. If one's dominating, the sled will turn. Head up, guy on the right is not doing very well. His head should have been eyes up. The, the one on the right has a wide base, which we're looking for. The one on the left doesn't. Obviously, the linemen are better th at this than the backs. Their heads up should be, their heads should be up better. Good choppy feet, short choppy steps. And I, I put this one in because this shows you when one dominates over the other, it just spins. So the guy on the left, the number 34, is driving it much better than number eight. This is our bird dog drill, so the coach will call out what kind of block, and they'll step to it. You have the older kids in front, and as uh, the younger kids go in the back so they can see what the older kids do, because they're not as sure. They should have no mistakes in the front row. Um, they should be quicker with their first step. We go first step, then we go two steps, then we go three steps. Notice that they turn their butt into the hole when they uh, finish the block. We also do basic blocks in the chute. We put a board down so they have to keep their feet apart. The chute is a great investment. I wish we had gotten a bigger chute. Uh, you'll see a little bit later why. But uh, you can adjust this to any height. We don't try to go too crazy with putting it low. But it does keep there. We want that flat back. We want um, to stay low, good head position. And we do all our base blocks. Notice that they come back to the outside. They don't run under the chute. 